Hello and welcome back. This is the Pithy Bikes channel. So after all that work, I put the hole in the wrong place. I measured in uh, 20 millimeters from the outside, but what I should have done is measured in 4 inches from the inside, the part that contacts the, uh, the jig. And here you can see how far off I am with that hole. So I ended up having to do it all over again and I made a new piece and here it is. So that's why this video took so long. I was uh, making this new piece and that is actually not the first time I messed up the piece. That was actually the third try at it. So uh, here I am putting a new hole in the new piece and I measured in 4 inches. And for a little context, the part that we're working on is the lower arm that the cone attaches to. Alright, so that takes care of that part. And now we will be working on the upper arm. And uh, this arm has two pieces. One of the pieces is bolted to the other. Oh yeah, so this piece here was the uh, the second time I messed up that lower arm. I had uh, taken off, I think it was 20, 20 thousandths of an inch and I was only supposed to take it down about one ten thousandths, I think. And uh, I think I know why I did that. I was eating lunch. I took a lunch break and I had a beer with my lunch. And uh, I was very relaxed. A little too relaxed. Alright, so now I'm going to cut this thing down to size. I'm uh, milling it down 0.98 inches. So the reason why I'm not milling it down to like a whole inch is because the piece uh, stock is one inch and so you can't just use the stock as it is because it's got all these imperfections on the surface so you need to mill it down so that's what I did. Uh, in hindsight though I think I would have uh, purchased a piece that was larger than an inch so that when I did mill it down I could mill it down to one inch. Alright, so that measurement was 40 millimeters wide, and that is the width of the extrusion. So this hole will be tapped and then um, it, the cone will be bolted into this hole. And uh, these holes will also be drilled and tapped and um, the other piece of aluminum gets bolted into these holes. Now that piece of aluminum you see right there is the piece that gets bolted. So I'm gonna drill, uh, I'm drilling two holes evenly spaced and uh, these holes will not be tapped. These are the holes where the bolts will um, the bolts will go through these holes and then screw into the other holes. And that hole right there is where the um, the fastening bolt goes. That's the bolt that 
uh, attaches to the extrusion. And now I'm drilling these other holes with the larger drill and that is for the dowels. So now I'm going to countersink uh, the two holes for the bolts so that the heads of the bolts will sit uh, below the surface of the aluminum. And uh, now I'm going to add a chamfer to the ends of these arms. And uh, I don't need to do this, I'm just doing it because I just want it to look nice. So here's the finished uh, pieces. Alright, so this bolt is the bolt that holds the bottom arm on, it's going to go through there, but you can see the end of this other bolt is in the way. So uh, I'm going to take that bolt out and I'm going to cut it down to size, and then when I reinstall it in the extrusion, uh, it won't be sticking out like that and interfere with the other bolt that needs to go through. So uh, there it is, nice and clear, nothing's in the way anymore. And uh, now I'm going to drill that hole. Alright, here's the arms finished and installed on the head tube fixture. So the only thing left to do on this fixture is to uh, install the cones. But we ran out of time so we're going to do that in the next video. Sorry this video took so long, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.